So as a freelancer or agency owner, one of the biggest problems or struggle you face is the client acquisition process, how to get clients and how to get customers to your business. And there are many materials out there talking about how to get skills or how to upskill as a freelancer, but not very materials talking about how to get clients to work with. So majority of uh, freelancers have to navigate that on their own. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you some ways you can actually navigate the client acquisition process using LinkedIn. I'm going to be showing you how to use the LinkedIn search bar and using the LinkedIn Boolean search for getting clients and finding the clients of freelancer market. So follow me in this video. Using um, LinkedIn Boolean search. I think, no, I talked about using LinkedIn search for acquiring clients, but we did not really explore that for a while before LinkedIn made the updates to Boolean search. I mean, there are majority of people who don't know about the LinkedIn Boolean search or using Boolean search for finding um, clients on LinkedIn. So if you want to use the Boolean search, all you have to do is just go to Google, type in LinkedIn Boolean search. Okay, let's just put this in LinkedIn Boolean search. So once you click on your LinkedIn Boolean search, it's going to show you the link. You can see that there are not many people that have traffic on the on the site. So this is actually the documentation. It was last of the 36 months ago, which means the search video I made at one point in time, I think about I made about two years ago. For people subscribing to my channel, I made video um two years ago talking about how to use the search bar on linkedin for acquiring clients on linkedin but when linkedin made the update it was around uh, six months ago obviously and the the previous video obviously is outdated which which actually prompted me to make this particular video so you can run a boolean search on linkedin by combining keywords with operators like and not and or during your search and i actually kind of made a a kind of uh, documentation a simple document here to explain um, each of these so the first one we have on the linkedin boolean search is um, quoted such as this logic we have and it says for an exact phrase match you enclose the phrase you are looking for in quotation marks for example you type the word product product manager you put it in quotation you can also use quotation marks if you want to find someone with a multi-word title LinkedIn search only supports standard straight quotation marks. Other software or websites may use special symbols that our system does not recognize. Call it quotation marks, also known as these, also known as smart quotes or typographic quotes, are unsupported. In order to optimize several site performance, stop use stop stop words such as buy, in, with, etc. aren't used. In a nutshell, let's just um, explain how you can use that quotation or quoted searches this particular logic for your client acquisition process and to find jobs on LinkedIn. So we are going to be picking, let's look at, okay, we are going to, I have a, a series of phrases here. These are likely phrases that, likely key phrases that somebody who is looking for a US UI designer might search. So let, here we have, I am hiring a UX UI designer. Sorry about this. Let me remove this for now. So I am looking for, we can have, we can have something like, I am looking for a UX UI designer, obviously. So if somebody is looking for a job, we are reverse engineering the psychology of the client who is looking for a freelancer so you are a freelancer you are you are looking for ux ui design roles or a graphic design role or any role that relates to um, getting a job or a service professional online digital skill you have a digital skill so these are possible phrases that somebody can input into a post or a content that they are putting out on linkedin that you need to make sure that you are searching for so these are the phrases we have one phrase we have two phrases so i have just two examples here you can with time think of multiple examples create a document of them and put them in in that particular document then use the linkedin boolean search to find those particular search phrases so now you can see i am putting this this particular phrase i put it in the quotation mark so you have our quotation mark here i'm i'm looking at i am this i am is actually quite common across these two so i'm not going to put that into a phrase i don't think that's necessary but the word hiring the ux UI designer and looking for a ux ui designer might actually come up very well in a post so we are going to put this out let's first search for should we go for the first or second let me go for the second so looking for a ux ui designer that seems a little bit more informal and less um, complicated and there are a lot of people maybe startup owners that would actually put in this kind of word into their search phrase or search bar that they are looking for a us or they will type it into a post so let's just search this on linkedin we are telling linkedin that we want only post or content or anything on the platform that has this particular phrase within it looking for a ux UI designer so let's go to post let's click on post that we want it we are filtering it by post our result by post then uh because this is say six months this is one month this is six months obviously you don't want to apply to a job post that was posted about six months ago so let's filter again by today is sunday so we cannot use we are filtering by date now so today is sunday we cannot use 24 hours because that will be yesterday sunday uh saturday sorry so let's just filter by past week that's about seven days ago which starts from tuesday or monday so we can just go with this this should work for 
giving us um, tangible results so here we have recently i had been looking into usui design rules around okay this is looking for this is not bringing us exact rule but it's bringing us things that are related to this so yeah we are if you can actually find looking for can you see this looking for a ux UI designer with a few years of working experience good looking for a ux ui designer good so this phrase this particular post actually matching the exact phrase so you can easily decide to leave a comment this is 11 comments this was posted three days ago so you can easily go into this dm this person's dm or you leave a comment on this post but i would advise you to actually go into dm and for you to go into dms i think you have 100 um, dms on the linkedin premium account you pay only 100 dollars per month so which means it costs you only about 10 dollars a month uh sorry a post or a dm to actually reach out to people and get to them on the platform so you can use this if you are really looking for a job and um, send the dm to this person try to talk about your offers and stuff like that so and you can the, the sending a proposal or trying to get into dms or marketing into dms is also a different class entirely i'm going to be making a video a different video about that in the nearest future but for now let's just um go with this the boolean search let's just continue using the boolean search so we have um i'm looking for a usa designer type contract working mode obviously this is also another job post posted four days ago this is two days ago so one day ago digital agency response are you looking for you this is obviously somebody putting out a job post but that particular search phrase is coming up within this post obviously so let's use the second uh post we have here we have hiring a us ui designer we already have it in our quotation mark so let's just um Put that into the search bar and see the results obviously the filter will automatically apply instantly the filter because we already have a filter in place we have the post we have the past week so that filter will automatically apply so it says hiring ux designer at pepe square so we have a job post here this is a job post here saying we are hiring ux designer there are also many other job posts obviously here this is even a, a design so all these can actually help you to get the results so you can see all the posts looking for this particular ux ui designer on linkedin within the space of the past week so within maybe let's say today since today is sunday monday when it's monday tuesday you can easily put past 24 hours so you are getting the freshest of results and if you get the freshest of results it means you are probably going to be one of those who, are, who is going to apply first to the job and if you apply first if you are the first in the door no matter how terrible you are no matter how skilled you are you have the attention of whoever posted the job already and um, it depends on your sales skill your ability to convince them to buy from you but getting the job or seeing the job post is no longer a problem from here so this is more or less like you are using upwork and fiber because directly you are seeing people who are actually looking actively looking for um service professionals to work with them so you can easily replace this phrase with instead of ux ui designer you can replace it with graphic designer marketing copywriter content marketer different things social media manager you can input any phrase within this uh quotation mark so let's just look at the next one the next one says not such is um i'm still not very sure of this not such is but i believe it's one of the ways for you to it says type the word not capital letters immediately before a search time to exclude it from your search results this typically limits your search result for example programmer not manager but in this case i believe one of the cases where you might want to use that not would be maybe let's say for example you are trying to like limit uh let's say for example i'm a ux UI designer but i don't want to do i don't want to do not graphic designer so so it says hiring a ux designer but not graphic designer so i don't want to do graphic design roles i'm not a graphic designer i'm just a ux UI designer because there are many people that require graphic designer to also have uh sorry us designer to also have, do graphic design for their company not uh graphic designer not graphic designers so we can input this into the search bar again and see if because let's just look at the job post maybe, maybe we can even uh, walk back or reverse from a job post. Maybe we are pepper square we are a creative digital expert we have client discover possibilities we are on the lookout for in Bengal. okay this is not requiring you to be a graphic designer so we can just walk out from here walk back from here and try to see it says designer figma must have it must be this person must be good in figma i'm trying to look for a post so we can re remove okay this is knowledge of adobe xd figma azure so we can say okay i'm only good at figma and azure i don't want adobe xd i don't want azure is it azure yeah i think azure or azure sorry with the pronunciation and um, it says adobe xd so let's just say you uh not let's see if it's going to remove that particular search phrase not azure so that means any word any any post that has that azure within it should not be included within the search so i'm not sure if that post i think that post is no longer here automatically 
okay so that post has been removed here automatically so we, we can no longer find that particular post that is requesting for azure so if you don't have a particular skill set and you want to remove it you can easily do that here so we can say let's say graphic designer too so any post that have graphic designer within it is looking for a usa but doesn't have graphic designer that means you, you are telling it here that look for this particular phrase but make sure that you don't include anything that has graphic designer too as well so it will remove that from your search phrases as well so make sure that only you have seen only us ux ui design rules so let's go to the third one i think third one you can also use the third one the third one okay let's read the third one let's read the rule it says all searches type the word all and let's just let's go back to let's use the hand first because i'm not very sure about this all so and searches it says type the word and capital letters to see results that include all items in the list this typically limits your search for example accountant and finance and cp the way i use this and and i advise you to use it is for location for example i already put it here in the us and united kingdom if you see this you see that there are a lot of stores coming from bengaluru this is bengaluru this is i think india and um this is also india so when you say hand and uh, and uh, united kingdom what you are trying to ask for is you want it to also include united kingdom or to focus mainly on united kingdom so it is going to make sure that the ui design, designer rules you are getting includes united kingdom obviously there's no result here let's just go to past month let's see if we can go that far and see if we can have some results so we really have one post here that has that kind of information hiring ux ui designer hiring the ux ui designer that's our phrase and united kingdom so we have london city united kingdom 70k so you can easily decide to apply for this particular rule here which means we have eliminated all other options and really have united kingdom here so if you're in nigeria you can even put on nigeria let's see if we can have nigeria let's see if we have some results from nigeria so on nigeria no results wow okay so are, are you saying nobody's hiring the us ui designer in nigeria on linkedin interesting so in that case that means we don't have that let's try uh hiring a content writer let's try a different role and see in nigeria let's see if we have people like okay yeah we have that can you see so we have hiring content writer news entertainment at information nigeria location lagos a minimum of two years journalism experiences hands on skills so basically you can use this to actually limit your search limit your content so i will be the first person this is saying one week ago obviously because i used past months so if if i had if there was a job that was there was somebody hiring the content writer and is in nigeria i can easily use this search phrases this boolean search um, logic to specifically find the job within within 30 minutes and be in communication with whoever is in charge of the job or who posted the job and obviously you know that linkedin is a very direct platform for finding jobs and um i think the last one is all all searches so i am going to leave this as an assignment for all of us obviously you can easily come to the link and read it so if you use the all searches i'm going to require you to leave an example if if nobody commented on this video or say how they use the all searches if you use your searches you are going to tell me okay this is specifically what i did with it and these are the phrases i searched using the whole or it says type the word or capital letters to see results that include one or more items in the list this typically broadens your search results it makes your search results wider for example sales or marketing or advertising so if you are watching this video if you completed if you finished watching this video and you use these all searches i'm going to leave this out to everybody you read this particular post you use the whole searches for you use it is you create a search phrase on linkedin you are going to uh, copy that search phrase and put it as a comment on this particular video to show that okay particularly you watched it to the end and you understood the whole thing so i'm not going to work on these all searches for us i'm just going to talk about the quoted searches which i use a lot the not searches i also use that a lot and i use the hand searches a lot so i guess um, we'll see on this side happy freelancing and happy finding clients on linkedin